So what about charts? Um, I'm going to create a new slide. Let's imagine I need a slide uh, to present the data um, for sales, for five salesmen and for three months. So for January, February, March, I want to see how much the five salesmen or sales people, persons, um, people um, sold. Insert table, picture, movie, chart. Okay. This is the default chart. This is what I want actually. We can see later how we can choose another chart. So we've got four categories and three um, categories for the other um, for the dimension. So I need five here, and of course I need the the name of the sale the salesman here and the months here. So what I can do if I click outside the chart, I go back to the um, normal interface. So if I want to go back to modify the chart, I just double click and I come here. So right click on the chart, chart data table. And I've got row one, gonna be Paul, Mary, Jean, Peter, and Harry. So you can see that in real time, more or less, uh, you've got the chart updated with the new info. And here I've got January, February, March. And I can add a column as well. And here we've got three, five, eight. Close and I've got exactly what I needed. I'm going to zoom in, so I'm going to use Control plus the mouse wheel, and we've got exactly what we needed. Now I'm going to modify it a bit on um, my chart. So right click, um, insert title, sales, and then insert titles. I forgot. There is a X axis, which I'm going to call sales person and the Y axis sales in thousands. Okay. And here you go. Then let's see Mary, what she sold for in March. You know the value is between 9 and 10, but you cannot exactly see what it is. Well, I can see right now because I can hover my mouse uh, over the yellow column and see 965. But if you are, if you're going to present um, the data somewhere, they're not going to be able to do that. Uh, so it's going to be a static chart. So what I can do is just um, present the value here just right click on the column this time and not on the chart insert data labels I can do the same thing for each column and I've got what I need if I don't like how it looks it's not readable I can just right click format data labels and I can rotate them if they take up too much time too much uh, space uh, okay This is there you go. Uh, share value is number or percentage. You've got the font, italic, fourteen. You can um, use again yellow. You can see it's not readable, so you can go back and say okay gray. I can do the same thing for the other columns. Other than that, I can change the color itself of the column so instead of having blue red and yellow I can have different colors so right click on yellow form a data series and then area I can change the color here so there you go other thing I can present a line um, 
which represents the mean value for a column. So let's get the mean value for March. Right click, insert, mean value line. This is the line. So now I can decide whether Paul sold uh, more or less than the average for March. You can see that he under um, produced or whatever for March. Mary sold a lot, uh, a lot much that um, than the average. If I want to hide the the average, I just go right right click and then delete mean value line. Or I can have insert trend line. So the evolution of the value. So you can see that from the first to the fifth, it goes up. You can have logarithmic or whatever you need. Go something like that. Other than that, let's hide the delete the trend line. I may want to modify how the whole chart area looks like. So this time I right click on the chart area, the blank area and not a column. And then I go I go format chart area. The area I can fill it with a color gradient blah 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 hatching let's say bitmap something like that and we've got the borders I can choose fine dotted red and width like that I just modified the appearance of the whole chart if I want I can be more specific and just um, modify the appearance of the real chart not the blank so I can just hover my mouse over the chart wall and then double click and then I've got a different area done so I'm gonna use something like that border I can use find dot turquoise or green okay something like that width okay and this is how you can modify this aspect of the chart or I can even modify the the y-axis major grid so double click instead of having gray continues I can give it fine dashed um, light green and it goes like that of course you're not going to use graphics like that you're not supposed to use as many colors I'm just trying to show you what you can do um, in impress so if I click outside I go back to the um, interface the generic interface other than that let's go back if when I create my chart it's not the right chart for me chart type I can just right click chart type and then choose another one like pie and here you can see you've got something like this and then you go you can go back to the data and then you can go back as you can see here um, um, in this type of um, of graf graphic or chart uh, you cannot have the three columns at the same time so it's going to uh, this is a mono dimensional chart so it's going to take only the values of the first column but we're not going to lose the other data so we can go back to another chart type and represent them as we like so there you go so every time you need to modify something either you're going to right click on it if it's uh, a space a whole space or if it's a fine line like that it's easier to just double click and uh, get to the interface um, to the dialog window where you can modify its appearance